Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. This is all things style, Disney travel, etc. Obviously during pandemic, not so much. Um, I'm gonna firstly apologize. I've lost my little wind muffler and there's builders outside. The windows are shut. They're being really, really, really noisy with like metal poles or something. So apologies in advance if you can hear that. I really hope it's not too disruptive or anything. Um, today's video is going to be talking you through five outfit ideas for Christmas Day that don't include a Christmas jumper or a party dress. So I tried to think of like different things that people wear on Christmas Day. Some years me and my family do really dressy, some years we like to be really casual. It honestly just depends on how we feel that year and we kind of just go with the flow. So this is obviously my Christmas jumper. This is actually last season Zara and it was £30 last season, last year. And I really love this. It's so like quirky, festive. Like I like that it looks like handmade and old, but obviously it's not in stock anymore. So I can't link it, unfortunately. I'm going to jump straight in and share these with you though, because I really like all these outfits and they're all things that I would wear not only on an everyday basis, but also on Christmas day, which I feel like Christmas day, you just want to be comfy. And whether you're going to the pub, whether you're staying at home, whether you're doing whatever you might be doing, obviously if you're watching in 2020, chances are you're either at home or you're going to a family member's house because obviously we have this amazing pandemic to thank for the fact that we can't do anything. But I thought these were all quite easy ones to wear for like a multitude of things. And I did also include shoes in the cutaways. So there's options for what you could wear on your feet, just because I know obviously if you are going to be like traveling to a family member's house on the day or going to a pub or whatever, I don't even know if pubs are open this year, but I'm assuming they will be. So first and foremost, we have one that's really easy and really casual. So this is literally just a roll neck with some jeans. And if I was planning on leaving the house or I wanted to make it look a bit more smart, I'd probably just chuck on a leather blazer as well, which is kind of in my go-to outfit of the moment. So the jeans are actually from Zara and they are just the classic mum jeans, really, really comfortable. I've had them for years and they were like 25 pounds and they've lasted me forever. And then for the belt, I just went for a black and gold one because I thought it went really well with the black and gold of the top. So this is just a classic, I think Primark ribbed high neck top. So like just a classic turtleneck. I think it was about six pounds and it's really, really comfortable. I did actually size up in this and I regret it. So I definitely recommend if you go in to get true to size because I find this one just to be a little bit too loose where I'd rather it be a bit tighter. And then the necklace is actually just a H&M one, which is like this really cool, like bobbly texture. Um, but really, really simple outfit, something you could wear literally every day, but it's kind of a nice way to throw on like a top and jeans, but look a bit more stylish because you add like the little bits of accessories. And then for shoes, I just put on Doc Martens just because I'm thinking if I do put the leather blazer on and I do leave the house or some people I know wear shoes on Christmas day, just to like feel a bit more dressed up. I don't know. So I put in a couple of options, but to be honest, I'd probably just be in my slippers. Like being completely honest, it's probably all I'd wear for most of these outfits. Um, outfit number two is actually this one, which is one of my favorites in the video. So this jumper has been in my cupboard for a really long time and I'm obsessed with it. I actually own the black version and I found out yesterday there is a gray version of it too. And it's just this white cable knit with the really chunky, chunky style. Oh my God, it's the coziest thing ever. And then I teamed it with a little slit skirt from Zara and some little spotty leggings from, spotty leggings? Spotty tights from H&M. So this is the skirt, which was only 25 pounds. Hasn't seen the light of day yet because I only just got it. And to be honest, it's way too cold to wear this out without tights. And I only got the tights yesterday, but it's really, really cute. And it's the perfect like smart little skirt that you could wear with a multitude of tops. And I just thought teaming it with a chunky knit makes it really cozy, it makes it really warm, it's kind of festive. I guess you could put the Christmas jumper on with the skirt instead if you wanted to and still have it really festive and cozy and warm. And Christmas is just the time for me where you wanna be like either really super cozy or like dressed smart casual or like really fancy. Like there's three different types of Christmas day for me. I do have to admit, I've never had a Christmas day in my life where I've just stayed in my pajamas all day because I don't know why, that's just not what I do. Like I like feeling like I'm getting up, opening presents, getting dressed, having lunch. Like that's what I love. I love not staying in pajamas all day on Christmas day. Then outfit number three is actually going back with the same ribbed roll neck that I showed you a minute ago and actually popping it over this dress, which is one that I got from Zara pretty early on in, I think I got it in like late October and then we went straight into lockdown or I bought it online, I can't remember. But this one was $49.99 from Zara and it's a really gorgeous velvet dress, which is so perfect for the autumn winter season because it's so gorgeous. It's like autumnal colors, it's got the velvet, really, really beautiful dress. And 
because of the fact that it is a bit colder now and i know that getting more towards the end of december it gets a lot colder i thought it'd be great to just pop the roll neck underneath so you've got a little bit of an extra layer it adds that kind of like 90s vibe to it and then i just chucked on some chunky boots because i thought it kind of completed the outfit obviously you could add tights if you wanted to there's nothing stopping you doing so but i just thought it looked really cute with the roll neck underneath <laughs> and to be honest i'm actually heading to a kind of like pub restaurant later because obviously we're back in tier two now and that's probably going to be my outfit potentially with tights depending how cold i am but i really liked the layering that i put in the cutaway so have to get it out and wear it then outfit number three, I've actually put with some heels in the cutaway, as you'll see, just because I thought this was the one that you could probably smarten up the easiest. Obviously, like all of these, you could pretty much wear like little heels or something with if you wanted to. Um, obviously, the skirt one's a little bit trickier because you've got the tights on, but it's up to you on preference for shoes. But to be honest, I don't think many people do wear shoes on Christmas Day, but I thought I would allow the option. <laughs> So this outfit is just a little high neck top that I got from And Other Stories a few years ago, which is just like a really nice kind of seersucker type fabric. Super comfortable. I like the fact that it goes to your elbows and it's just like a tight fitting top. Bit of a like more autumn spring take on like a really cold like full on roll neck. Um, and then I just put my classic jeans, which I wear all the time. They're just my black mum jeans. And then for the kind of party piece and the cosy vibe of this i just added this cardigan which is like a long sleeved cardigan really long line and it's actually belted from pretty lavish because this is the kind of thing that if you are for example going home for christmas and you want to pack a little suitcase you don't want to take too much with you this is a great thing to take because it kind of doubles up as like a dressing gown as well so you could wear it on christmas day with your nice outfit underneath also actually would look really cute with like a velvet dress or something underneath like just to kind of give you a bit of comfort but keep it quite like party um, but I really love this. I think it's such a beautiful little cardigan and I would totally wear this over pajamas as well So that's why I'm saying it's like a multifunctional because when I go home for Christmas I'm gonna be taking this as like an extra cozy layer because I just think it's nice to feel a bit more snuggly Especially when you're drinking in the evening or you're curled up on the sofa with the film or whatever it might be It's nice to just feel a bit snug and then last but not least, I have this outfit, which is kind of bringing it back to my neutrals, which we all know that I love. I have a bit of an, <laughs> I have a bit of an addiction with black, but I do love my neutrals. So this is the top that I'm wearing, which I'm actually gonna be safety pinning because I bought the small and it's now out of stock, but I love it. So I'm gonna kind of like pin the shoulder up a bit so that it's a bit higher. You'll see what I mean on the cutaway. Um, but this is a H&M one, which costs I'm not sure how much, I only picked it up yesterday, but I think it was about 20 pounds. And then I teamed it with some cream jeans and a cream belt with the little gold buckle. I figured you could kind of put like a big chunky gold necklace if you wanted to, or like layer it up with maybe like a knitted vest or something over the top. And it's just a really cute, again, super easy outfit that you could wear for Christmas day. And what I've really tried to do with this is think of things that, like I said, aren't necessarily just Christmas day outfits. So they could be ones that you wear on Christmas Eve. You could wear like two on Christmas day, but I feel like it's quite hard to know what to wear because everyone like, online wise if you look on like websites and stuff all the christmas day outfits are like either novelty jumpers like this or like really like sequin heavy party dresses and stuff so this was kind of my middle ground for you um i really hope you enjoyed this and i hope you like kind of seeing what i perceive as like christmas day outfits i'm actually really excited to show you what i'm going to be wearing on christmas day this year because i think i might film like some kind of get ready with me obviously it won't be on actual christmas day but i'll film it like pre-recorded and then pop it up on the day for you so you can see what I'm going to be wearing because I've got a really nice dress that I've had a while and I just haven't been able to wear yet and I just cannot wait to get it on and get it out and just wear it because it's beautiful so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video guys hope you enjoyed seeing these outfit ideas there will be a party version of this coming if you do want to be a bit more dressy so keep your eyes peeled for that and I'll see you in my next video bye guys